Hello everyone, welcome to Getting Started with Windows 11 Copilot Part 1. In this video, we're going to be uncovering the three different ways to access the Windows 11 Copilot. We'll also give you some helpful tips about getting the most out of your everyday free version of Windows Copilot. You can access Windows Copilot from the Windows 11 screen, the Edge browser, and Microsoft's Bing search engine. So let's go check it out. So before we start using Microsoft Copilot, we need to understand the basics of what it is and what it isn't. Copilot is an AI language model developed by OpenAI. It assists users by providing information, answering questions, and engaging in conversation. Copilot can generate creative content such as poems, stories, code, and more. It also has access to predefined internal tools that help it perform various tasks. However, it does not have personal emotions or a consciousness. So let's look at three ways to access the free version of Microsoft Copilot. Number one, Copilot in Windows 11. If you use Windows 11, Copilot for Windows is always just a click away. There's an icon just to the right of the search box. If you don't see the icon, it may need to be turned on in the Windows 11 taskbar settings. So if you don't see the icon for the Copilot preview in the taskbar, we're going to click on the search menu and type in taskbar. And the settings is going to automatically pop up. So we'll click on that. And if you notice here, Copilot Preview, mine is already turned on. Yours may be turned off, which makes it disappear from the taskbar. So go ahead and enable that, and you should have the preview icon for Copilot back and ready to go. So as a side note, if you're using Windows 11 in a business or educational setting, your organization may not have yet enabled Microsoft Copilot. But if you do have the icon, you can click on the Copilot icon next to the search bar and the Copilot pane appears on the right hand side of your Windows screen. This pane will stay here no matter what you're doing in Windows, whether you're running an app or opening some windows, switching between tasks, or just looking at the desktop. It always stays the same size and takes up the entire right side of your screen. So running it this way is the best bet if you want to run it regularly and use it throughout the day. In the next video, we're going to take a deep dive into this particular area. Number two, Copilot in Edge. Microsoft Edge browser users have an easy way to access the Microsoft Copilot. Simply click on the Copilot icon in the upper right edge of the screen and a Copilot pane slides into place. Type your request into the Ask Me Anything search box at the bottom of the Copilot pane, or you can click on one of the suggestions for things you can do with Copilot in the middle of the screen. You may find these suggestions useful. However, the generate page summary is certainly helpful, and we'll talk about that in the next video. The Copilot pane in Edge is part of what Microsoft calls the Edge sidebar. Other icons running vertically down the right-hand side of Edge let you launch different panes in the same location, such as an Outlook pane, or the Windows Action Center pane. Copilot in Edge has more built-in features than in Windows, Bing, or the standalone web tool. For instance, Copilot in Edge has an option for summarizing the web page that you're on, another for creating a first draft of a document, an email, or other text. These are features that we'll cover in the next video. Number three, Copilot in Bing. The third way to use Copilot is in the Microsoft Bing search website. From here, you can click on the Ask Me Anything and type in your request, or click on the Copilot icon here in the center of the screen, which will launch the Bing Copilot website. 
You can also access Microsoft Copilot by going directly to the website copilot.microsoft.com from the Edge browser, Chrome browser, or any other Chromium-based browsers. Well, that concludes this video on the basics of Windows 11 Copilot. In the next video, we're going to take a deeper look into the best Copilot tips and tricks and how to get the most benefit out of this handy AI tool. So please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you're alerted when new videos are posted. My name's Steve, the host of Your Technology Coach. Thank you for watching.